How does your product engage with audiences and how would it be distributed as a real media text? Welcome to Briggs on Film, the podcast for cinema lovers everywhere. Today I'm going to take you through the process we have undertaken to engage modern audiences with our film, Underpass, and how we're distributing it. Our target audience is teenagers to young adults. We have a core demographic of C1 to E as we feel that they would be more likely to engage with our text than someone who is in the A slash B category. We feel like the target audience is also more likely to be males. We can apply the uses and gratification theory here with the personal identification section. We don't have any female actors, so we've assumed that with a more male dominant cast, men would be more able to relate. However, the film touches on themes of peer pressure and drug abuse, which many young people can relate to regardless of their gender. The hybrid genre and twisted narrative of the film will make people want to watch the film more. The target audience also includes people who enjoy the psychological coming of age and thriller genres. We do this by having several several typical conventions for those genres, for example, the costumes and lighting. We have challenged the expectations of the audiences with the narrative due to the fact that they're left on an enigma. In addition, we have minimal predictable pleasures. For example, the main protagonist does not seem to get home safe and does get peer pressures into taking the drug. The purpose behind us not having predictable pleasures is to make our film stand out more as several films we see today have these. Using Curran and Seaton's theory, films are becoming the same and lack creativity, so by us not fitting in with the predictable pleasures, it makes our film more appealing. Although, in some ways, we have filled, fulfilled the expectations of the narrative. Using Todorov's na- narrative theory, we begin at an equilibrium, and then that is disrupted. However, we have satisfied their expectation for our genre. We have several items of iconography such as the pills for a psychological film and the mystery figures for a thriller aspects of the genre. The audiences will be intrigued to know what happens to the protagonist and who the shadow figures are. The way that our film is unique is that we have not followed Todorov's narrative theory as closely. We begin our film in media res, meaning that we begin with the disruption without the setup that most openings usually have. This is partly as it was only supposed to be an opening sequence so we cannot explore the whole narrative, but also so we can leave the audience on an enigma and make them want to watch it more. Our film is also very niche as it is appealing to a very small proportion of people who are interested in very niche genres, such as social issues of drug usage, which is a very prevalent issue in London, therefore making it niche and unique. A conventional method of distribution that we would use is distributing it straight to the public through several different ways, including on-demand, DVD, cinema, TV and online streaming sites such as Amazon Prime or Netflix. Being able to stream our film on several platforms is a conventional method used by distributors in order to achieve a higher amount of profit. Our main goal is to have a film located on one of the main methods of distribution websites such as Amazon Prime Video or Netflix. This would mean it is globally distributed to millions of people, ultimately increasing our profits and raising awareness about our new film. We will be using more non-conventional than conventional methods of distribution since they are growing in popularity in the ever-changing world of media. A non-conventional method of film distribution that we would be using is synergy with another platform. We would work innovatively with social media platforms such as Instagram or TikTok, We would do this as we know our core demographic lives in a digital native time, so by working with those social media platforms, it would allow us to give information on the new film. In addition, we would work also with institutions that have a target audience of older ages to appeal to a wider range and create a mass audience. Using prosumer distribution would be a beneficial alternative as it would spread information but in much more detail and depth than a simple advert. Films such as Interstellar have followed the same approach, the cast did several interviews, blogs, articles and have several platforms of social media. The blogging community is a new and growing community so it would still be for our target demographic in the digital native. Exclusives are also an effective tactic in distributing a film. Events such as outdoor showings, premieres and pop events are all techniques used, used in order to make an audience feel like they are part of something exclusive. It's also a way to make people more enticed to watch the film if they feel it is limited edition and they'll miss out otherwise. Lastly, creating community is a great way to distribute a film. We'll have several live chats and direct meets and greets in order for our audience to feel as they fit in and have a direct relationship with the cast. That's all for today's podcast. I hope you found it interesting and informative. Don't forget to send in the comments and subscribe for more independent film news and tips.